Good afternoon, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. This here is Cutlass bringing you another video to my channel. Today you see something rare. You don't see these every day. As a matter of fact, you don't see them at all anywhere these days at all. Not even in the junkyards either. Or the salvage yards or backyards or barns or driveways or anywhere these days. Or even in the forest. Forgotten. We bring you today a 1985... Delta 88. Is it Delta 88? Is it Delta 88 Royale? Oh, everybody remember those alarm stickers of the 1980s? You know, at least they had them here in New York. And here is the documentation for you, uh, YouTube fans, right here. 1985 Oldsmobile four door sedan, Oldsmobile Delta 88 Royale. Uh, this one's going to need a lot of work. It's probably one of those uh, grandpa specials. One of those elderly persons that own it or something. It's really been neglected. Paint is peeling. Ouch. This thing got a dent over here. It appeared the owner tried to have it pulled out at one time. Yeah, it's a little damage over here to the driver's side over here. Knocked out the, you know, bezel over there. Missing a hood ornament. Paint's peeling over here. Otherwise, this car's basically a survivor. It survived all these years. Probably owned by an elderly gentleman, by the looks of it. Here's another look of it. 1985 Delta 88 Royale. Okay, it's missing a hubcap here. Maybe we can find them on eBay. Still got the pinstripe and popular in the 80s. Yeah, it's missing that vinyl trim that they put on back in the 80s. For those of you who remember when cars had vinyl trim put on back in the 80s, you know, you can go to local uh, parts stores like Strauss stores or, uh, you know, all that stuff before there was AutoZone and Pepperways. You know, and Orion Auto Parts. Here is the original of, uh, vinyl roof. That is peeling, folks. That is really peeling. But this car is a survivor. It's glad to sit there and see itself still on the road. And I'm happy to see they still got this thing on the road. Boy, there's a lot of rust here. Look at that. The trunk's got rust holes coming through there. The paint is falling apart, completely falling apart. Rust here coming through on the trunk on the passenger side. Tail lights are still good. There's the automobile symbol. It's still looking good. I lost the original dealer badge long ago. It's caused a survivor. You don't see too many of these on the road anymore, folks. You don't see them around. Give you a walk around, folks. You walk with me. You see the car. From different angles here. You see the car from across the street here for a second there, folks. We can see it with the sunlight. It still sports its original hubcap in the rear. But it's missing the hubcap over here. Two front hubcaps are missing. Hmm, must be one of those aftermarket uh, 80s antennas. I don't know if it came with the car now. It could be one of those antennas you found in the 80s. There's another view of it. Another view of it. See the hood on them is gone. Not easy to find. Rust bubbles everywhere. Now this is gonna need a lot of work. A lot of work, but this thing's restorable, folks. It's restorable. Just gotta find though, boy, we're gonna have to find a whole uh to find this nose clip over here, this little part over here probably. You can find it on eBay or the junkyard maybe. So this is damaged heavily over here, but yeah, yeah, that headlight's probably out of alignment, that's for sure. But folks, you know, it's a survivor. He's a survivor. He's lasted all these years, probably has an elderly owner that bought him when he was very, very young. And now he's growing old and so has his car. You know, oh boy, look at the rust down there. Well, that couldn't be, that could be fixed, you know. 
That could be fixed. Rust in the driver's door. That could be fixed. You don't have to replace the door. Just a little bit of Bondo, you know. A little bit of plastic. For those that are good with the Bondo. You could fix this up. Yeah, this car's going to need a lot of work, but... Uh, It's a survivor, basically. Yeah, the headlamp is falling down the back there. You can see for the window there, a bit there. Yeah, things in the back seat over there. Can't see it too well. For those of you tuning in, this is a Royale. 1985 Oldsmobile Delta 88. Royale. That's right, for those of you who tuned into the video at this point. 1985 Delta 88 Royale. And you can see, well, it's not really going much. Look at that. Leaves in the wiper area. Parked under trees. Things like the car hardly goes anywhere. I don't know what the mileage is on it. I can't see the mileage. But it's a survivor, folks. It is a survivor. Look at it at all angles. It is a survivor, folks. A nice survivor. Very rare these days, you don't see them on the road, you don't see them in salvage yards, you don't see them anywhere, you don't see them at car shows. You don't see them forgotten in fields, because the owner's going to sit there and just leave them sit there to rot. You don't see them in junkyards because, you know, they can't be junked anymore, there's not many left. You don't see them forgotten in barns, you know, in the woods, anywhere. Forgotten in driveways because, you know, owners like, you know, that are elderly died off long ago and the kids keep them there or whatever, you know. You don't see these anywhere. Survivor. It's a survivor. Tell it's still in good condition, you know. So we don't have to worry about that. But there's rust everywhere, folks. There's rust. I mean, rust everywhere. This trunk didn't need to be repainted. It's going to have to have Bondo on it. You know, the plastic. It's going to need a lot of work. Yeah, the headline has got to be replaced. You can't see it too well in It's falling down, folks. The top's going to have to be replaced. And yeah, this top's got to be replaced. Oh yeah, there's that thing from Cartronics over there, folks. Cartronics, yes. Remember when they had those things in the... Back in the day, the alarm systems back in the 80s here in New York. They had those things, so... There you have it, folks. It's a survivor. It is a survivor. We're giving you all angles of it, folks. We're giving you all angles. You're walking around me. You're coming along on the tour, folks. I appreciate you coming along on this tour with me. I'm gonna walk y'all around here one more time. Y'all gonna see what you can see. This is how it goes. A little bit of damage here, you know. That's gotta be repaired, you know. You knocked that thing out of alignment, you shifted that, so that's gotta be repaired. But all well. It's not a bad specimen. Probably a low mileage survivor that's, you know, not used much that it rotted away like this. Rust everywhere. And dents and things. But that's how it is, folks. With that hood there. So if you were going to restore this car, folks, you'd have to sit there and get yourself a hood ornament. Well, that'd probably come anyway when you get this whole nose piece over here for the front. This nose piece over here. That's got to be replaced, folks, you know, because of this, this little damage over here. You have to get yourself two hubcaps, or maybe you can find them on eBay. You have to change the top, because the top, the vinyl top, uh, is shot. Unless you want to take the vinyl top off and see if there's any rust underneath the top, and just paint the whole roof the car color. You know? The trunk's going to have to be repainted and sanded down to the, to the bare metal and primered and, uh, Got to patch up these holes here. All that stuff there. And, uh, you know, it's got to be done on both sides. Now, the interior seems to be okay from what I could see. I don't see no rips or tears in the seat from what I could see. The interior seems to be okay, but I can't see too well from that, you know. Windshields unblemmed, no cracks, no nothing. Like I said, then you got to fix the rust in the door down here. You don't have to replace the door, just fix the rust. 
what you have to do if you want to restore the car here. Just fix the rust in the door. And that's about all. Almost everything's all original on this car. So there you have it, folks. Got to find these, uh, the trim pieces, missing trim pieces here. It's missing it on both sides. You have to find that somewhere on eBay. But uh, other than that, folks, it's an original car. On top of that, maybe you want to tint the windows. You know, tint the back windows a bit there. Protect it from the sunlight, you know, tint the windows. I personally tint the windows on my cars in the back. That's how it is here in New York State. That's legal. 20% tint, that's what's legal in the back of the cars. So that's that, you know. It's going to need restoration, complete restoration. But this could be restored. It has potential. It's got great potential, folks. It's the kind of car you'd be proud of when you restore it. Well, you can even drive it like this, too. It's a survivor, folks. It's a city survivor. This is New York City. This is Brooklyn, New York. This is a street kept car all these years. As you can obviously see. The frame appears to be solid from what I look at, you know. But this is about all. The grill's still intact, so you can probably see it, the grill. You can't even take this piece off and just have it on the side, you know. Unless you, go, unless you go with fiberglass, then you can really patch it up there, but that's a lot of work, you know. More practically, get one from a wrecking yard. From a junkyard, a salvage yard, you know. And this is about all, folks. Giving you one last look at the 1985 Oldsmobile Delta 88 Royale. Before we head on out of here, folks. So, um, after you finish watching this video, drop me a line, drop me some comments. If you were to buy this car real cheap, what would you do with it? How would you restore it? How would you like it? What would you do if it was your personal car and you purchased it like this? Or even if you got it for free, you know? What would you do with it? How would you put it back together? Would you customize it? You know, change the wheels and stuff like that? Would you leave it like the way it is? And just drive it as is? Would you completely restore it? To make it a show uh, car? We'd like to know your opinions. We'd like to know your answers. Because don't forget, we still got a very solid car here. Despite, you know, a little bit of rust here and there. You know, it's still a solid car. And it's very rare. Because I haven't seen any of these around here in New York. I haven't seen any of them. Anywhere I haven't seen any. Only one I saw was in 1984, but that was like the beginning of this year. If you watch my videos and check my videos, you know, just scroll down my videos and you'll sit there and see there's a 1984 uh, Delta D Oldsmobile Royale that I had uh, videotaped and put here on my channel earlier in the year. But now here's another one, but this is 1985. See, you don't see the 84s and you don't see the 85s on the road. So that's it, folks. This is what this is. It is what it is, they say. And, uh... This has the potential to be something, folks. So remember, folks, drop me a line in the comments section. Tell me how you would do everything to this car, what you would do. How you want it. How you would customize it. How you would restore it. What color you want to paint it. What would you want to do with it. Tell me everything you would do to it if you were to purchase this car real cheap or if somebody was to give it away to you for free. What would you do with this car? How would you change its life? What would you do if it was your car and you wanted to restore it? Would you go with originality? Or would you customize it? Let me know, folks. Let me know, folks. Let me know. Let me know what you would do with a beautiful classic car like this.
if you to buy it and if you to get one like this and if this was offered for sale which it's not or use it as an example what would you do with it okay folks so let me know in the comment section drop in the comments all below let me know I like to see what potential this car would have in our viewers eyes what would you the viewer on YouTube do if you were to buy this car if someone was to give you the car for free if you were to own it or let's say your granddaddy left it to you because this definitely looks like a granddaddy special an elderly guy special for sure what would you do with this car okay let me know in the comment section below and folks don't forget to subscribe to my channel I've only got four subscribers and I just started this channel out I'd like to get some more subscribers because I mean folks if you had a channel of your own and I watch your material, I would hit the subscribe button below too. So kindly, hit the subscribe button below. Subscribe to my channel. You got nothing to lose. Okay? And I'm trying to bring as many good videos as I can whenever I spot them. And here's one of them. A very rare car. You don't see them too often. 1985 Delta 88 Royale, folks. And um, I'd appreciate you subscribe to the channel. Okay? And um, thanks for taking the tour with me. On this walk around of a beautiful car that's got potential, a rare one, a survivor, a classic. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, folks. We'd appreciate that, okay? We're trying to get as many subscribers as we can out here. So I can bring you more material like this. Because, uh, you know, the more subscribers we get, the more material we can get, the more I see people have interest in this channel. So uh, hit the subscribe button before you uh, leave the channel. And all that stuff there, and um, drop us comments below on how you like to see this car, what you would do with it, how you would restore it, or if you would customize it, what would you do? If you bought this car, if you got it for free, or if your granddaddy left it to you. Okay? This is Cutlass Singh. Thank you for watching. Thank you for taking the tour with me. Thank you for being there. And um, that's that. We are out here until the next video. Bye, bye, bye.